another venture into the reptilian tavern today with my associate and revealer of all secrets reptilian related Rex. You know things can get a bit rowdy when the doormen ask first if you have any weapons and when assuring them you do not they provide you with some and I was on my very best behaviour but made the forgivable error of putting a less than well received song on the jukebox. Well, it didn't even occur to me that the reptilians might take offence, but I always did like that song, Crocodile Shoes. Cat Cosmic here, and when I'm not causing intergalactic tensions with my choice of music, I'm sharing the words of Dwayne the Great Writer. On the matter of the death penalty, bringing an abrupt end to one's experience here. These are choices people make. The death penalty of stoning by the crowd in Iran, as an example, is an old biblical idea, being beheaded for having an affair, or going out on a date. Not exactly crimes on the scale of selling guns and blowing up buildings, like the governments of the world are doing. The doctrines and the ideas contained in them are being applied, like the Ten Commandments, etc. People come through all of these things in history, and they aren't seeing it for what it really is. That is a reference to make better choices. But people are still in the barbaric ages, and this is how they've come up. The so-called laws of the governments are fine with it, because it is crowd control. The people are doing it to themselves, so the governments are happy with it, and don't have to make an effort. Effectively, people are staying unaware and stupid for doing all these things themselves. Every person who does something has the karma, and things will come accordingly. So when investigating a person's deeds, how do we know what they did from their pasts? So, the guides just let things be. In the Tiger's Fang, when Paul was at a tavern and a fight broke out, Rebazar said, just let them be and kill each other. Don't get involved, or you'll be a part of it too. People make choices. This is what we see in the world, and we're making a choice too. That is to share something that makes sense with the whole of life. The challenge is to go from a person's personal self 
to recognize that there's more than what they've known. The new presentation will seem strange, but that's all we can do. Each person makes their choices. We're not for the death penalty or against it or condemning it. It has nothing to do with us. These things will go on in the world, so we're encouraged to adamantly share the new and earn our way, and learn to recognize this to get past your personal life. The personal self will always be there, but you've brought it forward in previous lifetimes, and it's brought you back here. There is no La La Land here, or anywhere in creation. Creation is what it is. When you see creation from the is, and all of it for what it is, then it can be okay. But to be the effect of it, to continually be restricted by it, and react to it, then that position has little value. Besides the experiences you've had, and if you can recognize them and compare to the isness life is. What's going on in the world that and a lot worse is going to go on. The new presentation has nothing to do with restrictions, that's the difference. But most people look to restrictions as the answer and remedy for their lives, and that doesn't work. Like the reality of the birds. They don't look to restrictions, but people do, and this is why they make the choices they do. If people stop looking to restrictions and make sense of their lives, then that's a step then eventually decide to recognize the isness, which is huge. And we're presenting that and giving the hints. Everything shifts and flows. We simply solidify things according to what we have experienced know and agree to, but it's really a shifting of atoms. When two people are talking, they are breathing each other's air, you might say, a back and forth, and life is like that. We've blocked everything into ideas that things supposedly are, but it's more than that. So it's like, after the longest time of walking, one decides to flap their arms and fly. This is what we're presenting. You've been through all this stuff, trying to figure it out, and it's not about figuring anything out, it's doing and being. You get an understanding of it, you do something, you be it, and you recognize it. 
We don't need all this drudgery we've been through. Rex was a little embarrassed too, with my choice of music going back to earlier. And he walked out of the tavern and left me there. But in spite of everything, I had a good ego-enhancing moment, as one of the reptilians called after him while motioning toward me. And he said, You can't leave this lying here. I was so proud to be referred to as a lion. I simply refuse to entertain the possibility that I misconstrued his words. This here lion will speak with you soon.